This is the incredibly beautiful and dynamic Lake Thune area in Switzerland. It has everything we could dream of in making a compelling map for city skylines. This area provides us with some unique challenges though. We have several mountains that exceed the game's 1,024 max on elevation. So let's see if we can do it justice. It all starts with our height map. That's our foundation. So let's take the time and expend the effort to get it right. There's nothing we can do about the 1,024 elevation max, but we can try to reduce its impact by breaking our map up into several discrete areas. Color grading each area separately, we can maximize the appearance and reality of each. We separate the mountain ranges from the lower elevations and treat them differently. We could just work to the highest point on the map and be done with it, but as you saw in the previous video, that causes foreshortening on the rest of our terrain. The areas we will be most engaged with will be the lower elevations of the map, where we build our cities. So we will color grade the lower elevations to approximate real world elevations and work with the mountain ranges to try and make them look right even though they will be less than half their actual height. Let's start by setting up a spreadsheet with Google Sheets or Excel or whatever you have. Build a table where we will record the elevations for key points on the map. Name your landmarks so you can keep them straight and using Google Earth or a topo map record their elevations. As I described in my video tutorial converting elevation data to height map, create a column to calculate the real elevation to game elevation, then a third column multiplying game elevation by 32 to get the corresponding grayscale value. Using the street map, pick a location in downtown Thune, which we know will be our lowest ground level. Then on the, a point on the map that's around 1,000 meters. Mark those two points with the color sampler tool and in the info palette set each point to black 16 bit. On a duplicate layer, leaving the original intact, using levels, use the histogram slider to bring the 1,000 meter mark up to 15,680 and the color ramp to draw blacks out until our downtown Thune mark is 1,600. Then merge the two layers. Place color sampler tools on several of our pre-selected points. Then using a curves layer, select each of those with the hand widget tool, select each of those points and adjust each value until it's close to each corresponding value from your spreadsheet. Then merge the two layers and name the layer. On another duplicate layer from the original, cut out each mountain group that has a peak over 1,024 meters. Leaving a fair amount of overlap so that we have room to blend the layers.
Use threshold on each of these separate layers to find the smallest possible black point and white point. Then using levels, set black point and white point. Then pick the low point where the mountain layer overlays our base terrain map and using levels drag the color ramp slider to reduce blacks until you get a close match. Do this for each mountain layer. Create a layer mask on each mountain layer and with a huge round brush with zero hardness, carefully blend the edges into the underlying base layer and into each other. Save your work so you have a backup. Resample the entire document to 1081 by 1081 and save to the map editor. Height map folder. Before you go to City Skylines to check your work, undo the resizing now before you forget so that you have your full map size for the next phase. Carefully examine your work in the map editor, comparing your terrain to photos of the actual area. You may need to tweak certain areas to remove any flatness or white blowout that may have occurred. That's the end of this session. Next time we will create our lake, rivers, and streams. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. See you next time.